Hi, Lee Ellis here with another installment of Leading with Honor Coaching. You know, it's summertime, Independence Day is right in front of us, and it's a time to think about freedom. Wow, what a wonderful thing to have a country where we have this kind of freedom. But freedom also does require responsibility. I want to come back to that in a minute. But you know, this tie I'm wearing today is one from the Vietnam POW Association. I don't know who made it up, but they came up with a great idea because you can see the barbed wire that represents not freedom. Five and a half, six, seven, eight years locked up in a POW camp with barbed wire and lots of other bad stuff around it. But the eagles represent freedom. They're soaring. And that's what we want in this country. That's what we have. We don't want the barbed wire. Well, as we think about freedom and the responsibilities that go with it, if we're not careful, we can start to undermine our freedom by being irresponsible in the way we talk, the way we express ourselves, and especially in being disrespectful of others. You know, the word civil comes from the Latin word that's the same word as citizen comes from. Civil meaning that you are polite, you're considerate, you recognize that you have to live in community as a citizen of a society, and that requires give and take. And part of that give is that you give some dignity and respect to others and tolerate others who are not quite the same as you in their viewpoints and beliefs. Well, tolerance is a good thing. Uh, We believe strongly in tolerance, but when you tolerate things that are, especially in yourself, that are not civil, then we start to have problems. And I think we're seeing that in our culture today. We're seeing uncivilness, uh, incivility, starting to appear more and more in our social media and in our regular media, where people are name-calling and so on. Well, I had a personal example recently. I ran into an old friend, hadn't seen him in maybe 25 years except once, And he and I were having a a meal together, just kind of catching up. And very quickly, it became clear to me that uh, his political views had uh, transferred quite a bit further away from mine. And we were now light years apart, as a matter of fact. That became evident. It wasn't what our plan was to have that conversation, but it started. And he's pretty opinionated. I'm very opinionated. So you can imagine the give and take. And I'm trying to explain my worldview, and he's trying to explain his worldview. But we were far apart. And soon it was clear that we were not going to convince each other to move an inch back towards that. I had to coach myself, and I think he did too. I care a lot about this person. He cares a lot about me. We go deep and back. But I still had to coach myself to treat him with dignity and respect, even though we had strong emotional differences of opinion. And so that reminded me of what it takes to live and lead with honor. You know, we have this honor code. In the military, we had the the military code of honor. We have this code of honor here that we put together three or four years ago to help us guide our behavior, our actions toward others. And number two says, treat others with dignity and respect. I'm committed to that, but I'll tell you, it's not easy. And number seven says, live your values. Well, I have strong values about others and the way I want to treat others. You know, the golden rule and those kind of things. And number six says, be courageous. Well, I can tell you, if you're going to treat others with dignity and respect, and you're going to live your values, you've got to have courage, and you're going to have to learn to coach yourself. I work hard at this, coaching myself, as I did in that situation, to treat my friend with dignity and respect. I have family members that we disagree on things. I have to, again, coach myself to be the person that I'm committed to be. So, as we think about what's happening in our culture, kind of some concerns about our culture and our freedoms because of some of the viciousness in speech that are coming about and in politics, we need to be the example. We need to live and lead with honor, and we need to be committed to that and set that example for others. We don't need to be dragged down into the mess and be part of the problem. We need to be part of the solution by setting that honor. So, I want to challenge you. Live and lead with honor. Coach yourself to do the right thing. You know what the right thing is. And let's move forward in that direction and help preserve the freedom of our country. I look forward to seeing you next month.